In today's video, I want to show you how to use the WinMax control and something we call rotary wrap. Many times we get a print for a feature that is wrapped around the circumference of a part, but the print itself may give us the dimensions in a flat world or a 2D world, and we have to then calculate that into angles and, and things like that. So it's a very easy thing to do on the Herco control. I'm going to go and create a frame real quick. I'm going to insert milling frame. I'm just going to start at the corner zero, zero. Say this is two inches wide and four inches long in the Y. We'll do 0.1. Let's go down a half inch. I use tool one and let's make that a pocket. So if I draw that now, we have just, I'm in an XY view right now. We have just a standard frame. Bottom left corners are zero, zero. It's two inches wide, four inches high. If this was actually something that was wrapped around the circumference of a part, it's a very easy thing to do here with WinMax control. We're going to go to the review screen. We're going to go highlight the block that we want to wrap around the rotary, multiple block functions, and we have a rotary to linear conversion button here. If I click on that, it gives me several options. I'm going to be able to convert to rotary, which is what we're going to do. If I need to make any changes, I can then revert back to or convert back to linear, make my changes, and then rewrap it. And you'll see we have some orientations down here. I'll show you what those do in a minute. The very first thing I'm going to do is hit convert to rotary. It's going to ask me for the radius of the cylinder that I'm wrapping around. In this case, I'm going to leave it at two inches, but I would type in whatever my particular rotary or uh, circumference of my part was or the radius of my part. Now you'll notice that my mill frame has turned into a rotary frame. If I go look in there now, I have instead of my y-axis uh, length of the frame, I have angle lengths. So if we were to draw that now, we've actually taken that feature and wrapped it around the part. Let's look at that from the top view. Now, I can make changes to this as a rotary. So if I wanted to change this around to, let's say 180 degrees instead of 114 degrees, then I can make whatever changes I need to in that rotary frame. And it's just like I programmed it from rotary. I can also go back to my review screen, multiple block functions, rotary and linear, rotary and linear conversion, and convert to linear. It's going to remove the two inch radius. And now I'm back to a regular mill frame. But you'll notice that it changed my Y length from the four inches I typed in earlier to six inches, 283 and two tenths, which is what would constitute a 180 degree wrap around that cylinder. So very easy to go back and forth between linear, rotary, rotary to linear, make my changes in either, in either format or in either um, rotary or in linear and then rewrap it or unwrap it, whatever the case may be. If we go to the multiple block functions and look here, I told you we have these degrees, different orientation degrees down here. If you look on the image itself, it will show you as you click on it, what the orientation of your X and Y positives are. And that way you can use that to determine which one of these is actually what you need for whatever it is you're trying to program. So hopefully that helps you a little bit if you're doing some rotary programming and it's just an easy way to convert back and forth between two axis or three axis 2D and rotary.